OK, so on a Friday night, this is probably what I'd want to be doing here is checking out how to do this problem. No, it's, seriously, it's not so bad. Once you get a hold of these, you just kind of see it's, it's a lot of the same processes over and over. And it's just getting practice. And these are really, really important uh, simplify, or actually multiplying these and simplify them because it gives you a lot of practice with your factoring technique, which is very, very important. So I need to simplify this. Before I multiply, I need to make sure I simplify. Uh, so what you can see is we can see that we have a lot of trinomials, one binomial. But these trinomials, we have to simplify by factoring. All right. And I'm just going to kind of do this in my head, but I will kind of say it out loud. So hopefully you can follow along. So here I need to determine what two numbers multiply to give me negative 4, but then add to give me a positive 3. So when I factor that, that's going to be x plus 4 times x minus 1. Then I see this as a perfect square trinomial. So therefore, I'm going to have x plus 2 times x plus 2. Right? It's very important for you to understand or see what perfect square trinomials look like, and then you can immediately factor it. Here, I have a binomial, which is kind of a nice little break, because I know I can just factor out the GCF, which is a 2x. So when I factor out a 2x, I'm left with an x plus 2. And then over here, my last trinomial, I need to determine what two numbers multiply to give me 3, but then add to give me negative 4. So that's going to be x minus 3 times x minus 1. OK, so now I just need to take what terms in the numerator and denominator divide to equal 1. Well, x minus 1 divided by x minus 1 is equal to 1. x plus 2 divided by x plus 2 is going to be equal to 1. And therefore, on my last answer, um, I just wanted to check. OK, um, then we can just multiply these out. So I have 2x times x plus 4 all over x plus 2 times x minus 3. We cannot simplify that any further. We could distribute that, but we'll just leave this in our, uh, our factored out form. And that's going to be how you multiply and simplify your rational expressions. Thanks.